Why? No, like actually. Uh, what are they doing? Dude, Square Enix, whoever's, I don't even know who's holding Kingdom Hearts at this point, but what in the world, man? Why is Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory a thing? No, like literally, I, I was looking at the news and I saw that this came out. Watch the trailer. Trailer's only like a minute and 49 seconds, but that was a, four, a minute and 49 seconds of pain. Of pain. I don't necessarily like it when Kingdom Hearts goes off the beaten path and tries to do something new. Some of the time it works, like Days. Days was one of the better games for sure, especially because it's the only Kingdom Hearts game I think that has multiplayer, which is really fun to play as the organization. I, I get PTSD flashbacks to Reshade of Memories, which I hate. That's my least favorite Kingdom Hearts game, and I hate this new this new game already, right? Now, part of me is like, oh, I don't want to buy it because of the trailer. But part of me is like, well, I have to buy the game in order to give like my actual objective thoughts on it, right? But I don't want to play the game. So this new game is actually going to come to the PS4, which is great. Of course, I have a PS4. So of course, this is the, the other Kingdom Hearts game that I'll actually be able to buy. Wow. So this article by Push Square says Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory comes to PS4 later this year. As far as the cartridges go, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory just has been announced for PlayStation 4 arriving later this year. It doesn't look like to be your typical RPG affair. Well, no duh. In fact, it appears to consist of numerous mini games rather than battling the forces of evil in various Disney worlds. Yeah, again, pretty obvious. Check out the reveal trailer above for more context. So there's a reveal trailer and I'm going to dissect this because honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't feel too great. As you see, Sora, Donald, and Goofy appear to be competing with each other in an on-rails match full of enemies and cues to hit. So now Kingdom Hearts is a rhythm game. Great. I never saw this coming. It also seems to be some sort of rhythm game as Sora hits colored orbs and it's timed with the beat story behind it does link with kingdom hearts 3 remind so prepare for even more baffling conf con convoluted storytelling <laughs> uh as if kingdom hearts isn't convoluted enough i feel bad for barry i feel bad for barry right now dude <laughs> all right trailers a, a minute and 47 seconds right japanese trailer you know they start off and they're on this weird kind of like road and they're traveling throughout Disney World with these roads, right? Basically, it's just like normal Kingdom Hearts, except now we're on a bunch of roads going through the worlds. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I can't even think of a Kingdom Hearts. Dude, oh my gosh. They're literally flying in Kingdom Hearts days. Do you see that? They're flying. What in the world? What is going? I didn't even see this the first time. What is going on? So this is literally just a, a, a rhythm game. Literally just a rhythm game. In concept, it's another Kingdom Hearts game, right? I, I should have seen this coming. I should have seen them this coming where they make Kingdom Hearts 3 and then they're going to make more Kingdom Hearts that aren't part of like the main storyline. That's what they've been doing for years. And why I didn't see that coming, I don't know. It's, it's shocking to me that I totally forgot that this could have been a possibility. And guess what? It was. Wow. I just hope that this isn't the continuation right after three, because that would be that would be a yikes. I would kind of hate this. All right, so you have to fight on beat. So imagine the Little Mermaid game, except it's the entire game. <laughs> I just now made that connection. That's literally this is literally the the Little Mermaid game if it was the entire game. Oh gosh, and I know a lot of people don't like that level. Personally, for me, I like it because it was only in one part of the map, right? When you're in one part of the map, fine with experimentation, whatever. But when you stretch that over the entirety of the gameplay, whatever, that's where I have a problem. That's why I did not like Rechain of Memories. I hated the card system so much. There were so many times where I could not beat a boss because I ran out of cards, and that was obnoxious to me because there was no like a game over you were just sitting there or running around and like you could literally could not attack and it was so stupid that's what i don't like there are some features don't get me wrong like drives which made the game way better where you could have two keyloids instead of one for a short amount of time cool 
that's really cool. I like that addition. That makes sense. But when you totally shift the combat system of Kingdom Hearts, when it's already pretty linear, linear as it is, it's that's where I have a problem, right? Kingdom Hearts is not a turn-based RPG. Kingdom Hearts is not a card game. It's not a rhythm game. That's not what it's supposed to be. So now we have another game that's trying to use the IP of Kingdom Hearts as something else when we don't need that. Quite honestly, it just seems to be stooping pretty low for Kingdom Hearts content. I'm not going to lie. This, 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 I don't want to say this is worse than Rechain of Memories, but second worst now, like honestly. It seems like that there's actually going to be some important story elements, right? So this is in the trailer. There's like some really interesting story elements which means that, oh, you have to buy this game in order to understand the story now. Like, so now there's Kyrie, and it's just like, oh, it's the guy, and he's gonna, like, unhood himself. Like, we have this, this story. Oh, oh, shoot. Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's the costume from KH3. Oh, no. This is a continuation right after KH3. I, oh, no. Oh, no. This is literally... <sighs> oh, no. This is what I was fearing. Of course, this is the continuation right after three. Bruh, some of these side games, they either take like, they're either before or after like the main event of Kingdom Hearts, you know what I mean? Whereas this one, it's like right after three, right? Which you think would be fine, but that means that like this connects to three like right after, which I don't like because I feel like that they could do better for right after three. But, and this is supposed to be like a mini game type thing, right? I don't have a good feeling about it. If I'm honest, I don't like it. Because again, it's just memories of Rechain of Memories all over again. I, to this day, Rechain of Memories is the worst Kingdom Hearts game ever. And I have not heard anybody agree or disagree with me on that, I should say. And this is going to be a Rechain of Memories situation. I guarantee it, dude. When I think of Kingdom Hearts, I think of like open world adventures. And I think Kingdom Hearts isn't necessarily open world, but like the levels are pretty big. By levels, I mean worlds, right? So when it comes to this, you're not really in the world. You're just kind of traveling through it, you know? So it's a totally different vibe now than it was before. When I think of Kingdom Hearts, I don't think of like traveling through the world like we're we're visiting everybody on the world. First response is like why? Second response is this should not take place right after KH3. But I guess storyline wise, now it is. And it's like how, the question is how much story are they gonna throw into this? Because I don't know if this is supposed to be like like right after three. I don't know if this is supposed to be Kingdom Hearts four. I don't think so. You know, it seems like this another side story that we're going to get. It doesn't seem like a main story, yet it takes place like right after three. So it's like, I don't know if this is supposed to be 3.5. I don't know if this is supposed to be just a, a side story. I don't know. I don't know. But obviously due to Sora's clothes that are only in three, it makes sense that this is after three at some point, but it feels like that it's right after three. But I don't know because Kyrie's there, so I guess it's in the future. It's confusing. Now it's another confusing wrench in everything, you know? I think we could do without this, quite honestly. I don't understand why this game is coming to existence. This seems like a cash grab. You know, maybe that's why I'm upset. Maybe because it's like, I don't see a point in this game specifically. You know, like they've tried a bunch of things with Kingdom Hearts and we're aware of that. And it seems like if they go like off the beaten path extremely, like with Rechain of Memories, it doesn't get high praise. And I don't think this one's going to get high praise either. Honestly, I don't think a lot of people are going to buy this game. I don't think this is going to do as well as they hope that it will. Then again, it's not like a main storyline game, or it is. It's confusing. It's really confusing. If they barely had any story in this, I wouldn't care. But it seems like that there is like an important story plot to it, which makes me kind of 
worried. But then again, maybe I'll just have to buy it on the PS4, shut up about it, and actually play the game so that way I have a better understanding, so that way I have better opinions, so that way, no, so I have a better understanding and perspective. There we go. But I don't want to play the game because it doesn't look fun. It looks like a mobile game. If I'm quite honest, it does look like a mobile game. The controls, pretty simple. You're just, oh my gosh, they're making an endless runner that's Kingdom Hearts, but it's for PS4 and Xbox One. That's why I don't like it. This game is an endless runner, or I guess it ends. So it's a runner, but it ends, but it's not endless. Oh my gosh, dude. I just, there's so many things about this that I don't like because it doesn't feel like the spirit of Kingdom Hearts. It feels like they're using Kingdom Hearts to make money. And there is a difference there, right? With Kingdom Hearts 3, and I don't know, I'm not going to try to spoil it or whatever, but you need to play Kingdom Hearts 3. Although some people say it's trash, I think it's worth it for the main storyline. That's just me. All right. Plus the combat is fun. So it's like, this game doesn't feel like it's part of the important storyline. Maybe it's just me, but it doesn't look fun, doesn't look entertaining. It just looks like they're using Kingdom Hearts to make money and that's it. Like it does, there, there's no substance to it. You know what I mean? Whereas Kingdom Hearts 3, like we had the main storylines. We were traveling to different worlds. You know, we had subtle lessons in between. So it's like with this, it's just like, oh, ha, melody game, but it's Kingdom Hearts. It looks like if Harmonite had a Kingdom Hearts mod, right? That's what it feels like to me. And of course, because this is a Kingdom Hearts game, they're going to explain in some way why he's back to level one and they're gonna explain some way, oh, we have to travel these roads because if we don't, somebody's gonna die. Or if we don't travel these roads, you know, we're gonna lose our power or something stupid like that. They're gonna, literally, because it's Kingdom Hearts, they're going to try to explain why we're running on roads throughout worlds. There's gonna be some explanation that doesn't need to happen because there shouldn't be an explanation in the first place because this game shouldn't exist in the first place. So as a Kingdom Hearts fan, I am disappointed. Quite honestly, I just, I'm not gonna buy it. Should I? Maybe. But will I? Probably not. Will Kingdom Hearts have a redeeming arc? Let's hope so, but I don't know, man. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, you can't get better than that. 